This is a story <coughs> called The Little Monsters, chapter 105. The kids get caught drinking in Kicker's playroom by Kicker's brother and parents. The kids are all out playing but it starts to rain really heavily so they go up to the hideout. When they get there they play some games for a bit. Then Kicker says, Hey guys, I've just remembered our Scott's closing his shop early tonight because he's short staffed and he's going to a stag night. Who's up for taking some beer from his shop and drinking it in my playroom? That's a good idea, Kicker, but what about your parents and everyone? They'll catch us, said Creeper. No, they won't, because they'll all be out tonight and they won't be back until late, answered Kicker. That night they all made their way back to Kicker's house as she was having a sleepover. When they got there, they had their tea and then they played on Kicker's Xbox and Playstation for a bit. As soon as all of Kicker's family went out, they sneaked into her brother Scott's shop and took a load of booze and then sat in Kicker's playroom drinking it. After a few hours they were tired so they hid all the booze, cleaned their teeth, got their PJs on and went to bed. That weekend it was Kicker's turn to have a sleepover weekend. So when they got up the next day they stayed at Kicker's house all day. That night, Kicker's family were going out again, so Kicker said, Hey guys, how about, how do you fancy doing the same thing we did last night when all of my family have gone out again? Everyone agreed, and that night when all of Kicker's family had gone out, they sat in a playroom drinking, listening to music and playing games. Then a Kicker was putting a different CD on her other brother Paul came on, but thankfully he didn't go upstairs. He just went straight back out again. The kids continued drinking for another couple of hours and then they got ready for bed. The next day Kicker's dad asked her, What have you kids been up to the last couple of nights when you've been here alone? We've just been playing games on the Xbox and Playstation and listening to music, Dad, answered Kicker. Well, you'll all be here alone again tonight, because me and your mum are going to a leaving party tonight. Scott's going out with his mates, Paul's going to his girlfriends, and Ellie's at your grandma and granddad's. Your mum's left some snacks for you all downstairs. Oh, by the way, they're not all for you, Stumpy, said Kicker's dad. Everyone laughed and then Kicker's dad went downstairs and the kids played some games. However, as soon as Kicker's family had gone out, she took the keys to Scott's shop, took some booze and they sat drinking in Kicker's playroom whilst listening to music and playing games. That night, Stumpy saw Kicker's brother Scott coming down the street and he said to the others, Scott's coming. They quickly hid all the booze out of sight. Thankfully, he didn't come upstairs. He came in to get something and went straight back out. That night, as soon as Scott was out of sight, they all breathed a sigh of relief, put the music back on and carried on drinking. When it got to about midnight, Kicker knew that it wouldn't be long before their parents came home. So they called it a night, hid their booze, got changed into their PJs, cleaned their teeth and went to bed. The next day, Kicker's mum said to them, What did you kids do last night? We sang on the karaoke. Played board games, played on my PlayStation and Xbox, and then around midnight we went to bed, answered Kicker. Well, it sounds like you guys had a full night. Everyone's going out again tonight. Me and your dad are just going to the club if you kids want to come with us, said Kicker's mum. Don't know yet, mum. We'll let you know later on if that's okay, said Kicker. 
Okay, okay, sweetheart, said Kiko's mum. That day it was still raining, so the kids decided to go swimming and bowling. When they went back to Kiko's house, they told her mum that they wanted to stay in, and she said it was fine. That night, after everyone had gone out, the gang took out the booze they had hidden, put some music on and sang on the karaoke for an hour or so. Then they played board games and on the Xbox and PlayStation for a bit. However, what they didn't realise is that Kiki's brother Paul came home early and he heard the music. He went upstairs to see what was going on and caught the kids drinking in the playroom. He turned off the music and said, What's going on here? Mind your own business, Paul, it's got nothing to do with you, said Kika. Then the parents came home and her dad said, What's all the racket about, Paul? Come and see for yourself, Dad, said Paul. When Kika's dad went into the playroom, he saw them all drinking and he said to them, What do you kids think you're doing? You know that you're not supposed to drink alcohol until you're 18 years old. You're not 18, any of you, you're only nearly 13 years old, so why are you drinking? Oh, mind your own business, Dad, and leave us alone. We're old enough to do as we please, and we can and we will do as we please, answered Kika. Oh, go to bed, all of you. I'll talk to you all in the morning, said Charles. The kids left the playroom and Kika turned round to her dad and said, we're not going to bed, Dad. We're going out because we're old enough to do as we please. Before Charles could do anything to stop them, they all ran down the stairs and out of the front door. They ran down the street and then through the woods to their secret hideout. When they got there, they carried on drinking until the early hours of the morning. The next day they didn't go back to Kikis until about 10pm and when they got there all their parents were there waiting for them. As soon as the kids saw them they all turned round and ran back to the hideout. This time they decided to punish their parents by not going home for three days. They just went to the old skate park and the play park and hung around there during the day. At night time they stayed at the hideout. When they did go home they all went back to Kikis first. When they got there all their parents were there and Charles said, Where have you kids been? We've been going out of our minds with worry. Oh why don't you mind your own business dad? Like I said the other night, we're all old enough to do as we please, answered Kika. What about you, Creeper? What have you got to say for yourself, my girl? asked Creeper's mum. Oh, mind your own business, mum. Like Kika said, we're all old enough to do as we please, answered Creeper. What about you, Stumpy? What have you got to say for yourself, my boy? asked Stumpy's dad. Like the girl said, Dad, we're old enough to do as we please, answered Stumpy. Then Charles said, Kika, go to bed now and I'll deal with you tomorrow. The rest of you collect your things and go home with your parents. The next day they were all smacked out on their bums, grounded indefinitely, had their games consoles, phones, tablets and laptops taken off them, had their pocket money stopped and were given extra chores too, to do. However, as always, they didn't take any notice of their parents. They, they refused to do their chores and as soon, soon as their parents' backs were turned, they all went outside, grabbed their bikes and met at the hideout where they stayed overnight. End of chapter 105 I hope you like it guys. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. Mm.